Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology. We'll be continuing from where we left off last time with a strike on a North Vietnamese barracks complex. Hi Dong Barracks West, USS Kitty Hawk CVA 63, date August 27th, local time 2100 hours. Weather clear. Situation. On August 27th, the U.S. Navy hit the Hai Duong Barracks, Com Barracks West Complex, located 23 miles northwest of Haiphong. Mission objective, lead the strike on the infantry complex. Order of battle, recommended aircraft F-4J, recommended weapons Mark 84, AIM-9B, threat suppression data, ground opposition SA-2s, KS-19s, and KS-12s, air opposition MiG-21s, and MiG-17s. We only have one wingman and limited fighter support in the form of two F-4s and two F-8s and AWACS support. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our heavy air to ground loadout. And we'll fly with that. The barracks complex is uh, about 30 degrees to our right. So let's hope our wingmate can dogfight with all those bombs on him. I don't actually know if uh, the computer calculates the performance for your wingmen based on your loadout. And sometimes I wish you could take different loadouts for them versus yourself. Like on this mission, for example, it'd be great to, uh, if you place your bombs just right, you can take out the whole barracks complex yourself, and it'd be great if I could load my wingman up with, with sparrows and sidewinders so he could cover me during the process, but unfortunately this game doesn't work that way, and for good reason, since, I mean, our whole purpose is to strike this complex together. The other F4s and F8s should be suppressing enemy defenses for us so if they did their job my wingman wouldn't have to, wouldn't have to cover me fortunately most of the time in this game when other wings are assigned to cover for you they most often don't do their job <laughs> i guess we're exceptional in that regard in that we can actually keep fighters off of our allies backs so let's climb to at least 25,000 feet. And we see an IR threat warning. So that means there's enemies, enemy fighters bearing down on us. It's still kind of funny to me that we can actually get that information when we shouldn't be able to. Oh, fuck. I misclicked there. So, uh, our landing gear is sheared off. So, on the plus side, we are a bit lighter now. So, I guess we'll dogfight these makes. Uh, uh, we technically can't return to the carrier. Um, so we'll be cheating and using the uh, return to the safe zone of the carrier. It'll be interesting to see how that goes down. If the game will even generate a safe zone for me. Since we are technically capable of landing. I'm going for it. There we go. I don't know why we can't see this guy. He's going high. I guess our wingman got his. Fuck we 
Ah, oh, come on. Oh, we have other F4s helping us. Like they should have been. So let's finish off this guy before they steal our kill. Yeah, I think we're inside the Sidewinder's minimum engagement zone. Okay, so we only have 3% damage, I think because it's sheared we sheared off our landing gear, which you can do in this game. <laughs> um, it won't let us autopilot home, but we'll, uh, that's okay. We'll go in. Our RWR should warn us if anyone gets too close, kind of like they're doing now. So we'll just punch the burners because they won't be able to keep up. Unfortunately, this game doesn't really let you do a crash landing. You just kind of die. So that's a little unfortunate that we won't be able to do that. Which I would certainly attempt that because we could potentially still catch the bottom of the carrier with our hook. And um, I think they have a net that they can rig up too. So we'd be able to recover the aircraft. It would take a lot of work to make it serviceable again, but we could theoretically recover it. We have our wingman tightened up so he's not at the mercy of all of these, uh, the flak and the missiles. do have, uh, supposedly, we have MiGs right below us, like, or above us, or next to us, I don't know, I, I can't see them, but the RWR says they're there, and I don't think they'll be able to get us, but since we're going supersonic, we are faster than them, be nice if... Oh, these guys are doing some sort of attack on something, I guess? Oh. case there we are we're almost home there's the carrier so since the game lets us we're going to end it here unfortunately debrief USS Kayhawk CVA 63 date August 27th mission Hai Duong Barracks West resolution success nice work blowing those barracks to kingdom come Object the outcome success destroyed the nine targets. We took three percent damage. Our wingman finally took damage, he took 17 percent damage, probably from one of the fighters. We have one kill and we destroyed nine barracks. Our wingman did not get the other kill. I'm guessing the F4s that intervened got it. I don't know why we have 80 percent hit, we should have 100 percent for that, but and okay, that's unfortunate. I was hoping that. We'd finally get a chance to show off the system damage here, and we'd have to repair our landing gear, but... 
Unfortunately, that's not the case. And uh, that's it for this time. Next time we'll be uh, striking air bases and I'll make sure not to deploy my landing gear accidentally while diving. So uh, <laughs> we'll see you then.